So as the Biden administration continues to push electric vehicles, one blue state looking to make up lost revenue from gas taxes. But the alternative, well, it could be worse. California is launching, quote, road charge. It's a pilot program that would tax drivers by the mile. Kingsview Wealth Management, Scott Martin and Walzer, Walzer Wealth Management, Rebecca Walzer here to discuss. Scott, what do you think? Surveillance, big brother, government keeping a closer eye on you, Mr. and Mrs. Driver. I mean, that's what this tells me, Charles. I guess the gas tax in California, roughly 150 a gallon and going higher, isn't getting the state enough money given the deficit they're running. So they want to add uh, this to the mix. And Charles, it just tells you one thing over and over again with regards to California and certainly the nation in general. The government thinks they know best. The government thinks that their workings and how they're going to work out some of the issues that they have deficit wise are the ways that they're going to take control of us. And basically that just taxes us more as they miss spend more money this isn't something i'm for of in any sense you know rebecca though it just really seems like if you're someone who lives far off and you drive to a, a job at walmart or a dollar general this is punitive this is really some punitive this is going to be punitive yeah, it's completely punitive for people that are in suburban areas and not urban areas. But, you know, Charles, I agree with Scott. I want to take it beyond that. Everything is moving to subscription-based. You, you know, we're going to charge you per use, per mile. And, and I want to challenge people to really think about the privacy implications here. You know, California obviously says this is going to be anonymized, but they, it cannot be. If you're being charged, they have to know who you are and what you're driving. And then think about that. You know, all of the out-of-state cars that are coming on these roads, how are you going to charge them and so that it's fair? So now we're looking at a national registration by license plate system. And so now there's no privacy. And it has to be across the United States because if you drive into California, they have to be able to charge you. So this is every way to not go. Uh, they've got to find better ways to replace revenue, period. Yeah, or maybe stop spending, but we know, we know California will never, <laughs> never do that. Hey, let me switch gears here because uh, both of you guys are uh, avid readers of, 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 of quarterly earnings and you listen to these conference calls. Well, the Cracker Barrel CEO recently made comments that have investors losing their appetite. Now, the restaurant stock, it, it sank right after the head of the chain said, quote, uh, that the chain itself just not as relevant as it used to be on the investor call. And, you know, Rebecca, I thought CEO stood for chief excitement officer. I mean, it's, it was like, he's like, he hates not the there. Chotskys. He's like, nobody wants the Chotskys anymore. I think that it certainly should have been wordsmith a lot better and, and, and maybe like, uh, you know, focus group tested because it clearly was not received well. And, you know, Crocker Bell is experiencing what a lot of people are, what a lot of restaurant chains are experiencing. We know some have declared bankruptcy recently, Red Lobster. But, you know, they are, they cater obviously to the older generation and they're saying that at least 10% of their older generation hasn't even returned post pandemic. And obviously they do need to get, branch out to Gen X, Gen Z, millennials, and they're really geared towards the the uh, the you know older generation so hopefully they can I don't want them to change I love shopping for Christmas stuff I love shopping for all the seasons I love their down home country cooking we need a good wholesome restaurant chain please don't change just figure out how to make it work again in 2024 you know they should benefit though I know they're all located near highways right and we know people are hitting the roads I mean they, there's some natural benefits Scott that they have but for the CEO to be so I, you know, it's just ridiculous. Uh, you know, I think that he needs more than just some simple wordsmithing. Maybe he needs to be shown the answer. <laughs> Hey, man, listen, don't call this guy dishonest, though. I think he's chief honest officer because I agree with him. Uh, have you been to a Cracker Barrel in the last five, ten years? They look the exact same, by the way, oh, that by they the did way, 20 sorry, years ago CEO, when my mom and dad went there. Is a, is a woman. I'm sorry. I'm not they saying he, that's great. Even she. she then. Even she then. Great. Of course, it's actually it, that's the woman being honest. How about that? Because that's exactly the problem here. She's being honest about the situation at the restaurant, which has not reinvented itself in the last 20 years. I mean, I'd rather go to a Rack's restaurants, which are now bankrupt and not even in existence, than go to Cracker Barrel because it's not even good food. Oh, man, that's yeah, cool. Scott, don't you think we need a restaurant that has good, wholesome values in this decrepit moral decay of a country that we're living in right now? We need Cracker Barrel. What are you talking about? That's all I want in my fast food, Rebecca. But certainly you've got to make people want to go in there. If you look at the restaurant, we just showed a clip of it. I'm not walking in there as even a dead man. All right. So uh, maybe 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 a little bit of a refresher. But I do agree with Rebecca. It's a nice, warm place. and You can get some down home food. Maybe. 